I'm David Tillman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video I'm going to share with you what I know about Forskolin, what it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, side effects, and how it's used in the Siltep stack. Forskolin is a chemical compound found in the Coleus forscoli plant, a member of the mint family which grows as a perennial on the plains of India and lower Himalayas. Coleus forscoli was used in traditional Ayurvedic medicine to improve mood and for general health and wellness. As folk medicine, the herb was used to treat central nervous system disorders, problems of uh, heart and lung function, skin and gastrointestinal issues. Researchers and holistic medical practitioners use the extract of forskolin to boost cerebral blood flow, lower blood pressure, treat hypertension, asthma, and congestive heart failure. As a nootropic, forskolin is the only known supplement to naturally raise C-AMP levels. Forskolin activates the enzyme adenylate cyclase, which increases intracellular levels of C-AMP which stands for cyclic adenosine monophosphate. CM was discovered in 1956, and its production is now known to be the final common pathway for many hormones and transmitter agents. Now to put this in perspective, hormones and neurotransmitters don't usually enter the cell. Instead, they activate the receptor on the cell membrane that is part of the adenylate cyclase enzyme complex. The production of C-AMP in a cell is catalyzed by this complex. Cyclic C-AMP then activates C-AMP dependent protein kinase or PKA, which results in changes in the cell's function based on input from, a, from the hormone or a neurotransmitter. Now the elevation of C-AMP along with PKA is required for long-term potentiation. This increase in neuroplasticity is how long-term memories are formed and encoded in your brain. Researchers have found that increases in CAMP rapidly activate brain-derived nootropic factor, receptor, the receptor of BDNF, TRKB, and it induces BDNF-dependent long-term potentiation. At the Schaefer collateral CA1 synapse in the hippocampus, in simpler terms, for scolin boosts C-AMP levels, which affects long-term potentiation. C-AMP is an integral part of the process in developing and encoding long-term memories. Now, for scolin boosts brain health and function in several ways, but two in particular stand out. For scolin enhance, first, for scolin enhances memory. For scolin as a nootropic has the unique ability to activate the enzyme adenylate cyclase, or AC. The activated AC enzyme then converts to C-AMP, or cyclic adenosine monophosphate, a secondary messenger used for intracellular communication. C-AMP helps stimulate the production of CREB, or C-AMP response element binding protein. An increase in CREB enhances long-term potentiation. Long-term potenti potentiation is the connection between brain synapses, strengthening in response to stimulation by neurons on either side, a major component in learning and memory. Memories are stored at a cellular level and retrieved at a cellular level. This well-traveled pathway is strengthened by boosting C-AMP with forskolin. In the second way, forskolin increases cerebral circulation. Coleus forscoli has traditionally been used to treat hypertension, which is high blood pressure, uh, congestive heart failure, and angina, which is a reduced blood flow to the heart. Forscolin is very effective in lowering blood pressure, and scientists believe this ability to boost blood flow is related to forscolin's CM or elevating ability. Researchers recruited patients with uh, dilated cardiomyopathy, or DCM. DCM is a condition in which the heart's ability to pump blood is decreased due to the left heart ventricle being enlarged and weakened. For skull administration dramatically improved the left ventricle function 
and increased overall cardiovascular performance. Another group of scientists set out to study the effects of friscolin on cerebral circulation. In this study, rabbits were anesthetized and measuring devices were attached to blood vessels entering and coming out of the brain. The study found that friscolin was an effective cerebral vasodilator, enlarging blood vessels that boosted blood flow, allowing for more efficient delivery of nutrients and oxygen to brain cells. Now, we've got research from hundreds of studies that, uh, and feedback from neurohackers that have shown that forskolin can improve memory by boosting CAMP activity in the brain, boost catecholamines or like dopamine, norepinephrine, and epinephrine in the brain, and boost cerebral circulation. Forskolin is fat soluble and it quickly enters your brain after you take it. Once in your brain, it boosts CAMP activity. CAMP is involved in the long-term potentiation process of preserving memories. Friscolin combined with artichoke extract is even more effective. Friscolin effectively boosts CAMP levels, but it also increases PDE4 in the brain. PDE4 is a CAMP inhibitor and will counteract the increases by forskolin if it's left unchecked. So inhibiting PDE4 with artichoke extract and boosting CAMP with forskolin potentiates dopamine release in the brain. Boosting processes in this stream of chemical reactions in the brain increases learning and memory. Without the side effects of stimulating dopamine production through the use of drugs like Adderall or Ritalin. Now many neurohackers report that forskolin with artichoke extract, this is forskolin, and artichoke extract improves mood. It motivates you to want to learn and to get things done. Some say it works as good as modafinil. Now the general consensus is improved long-term memory, increased ability to retain information, increased ability to study, and improved mood and motivation. And we've got a lot of research to back all this up. To check the research and links to the, the research that I'm quoting in this study, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for Forskolin, or click the link below this video. And it'll take you to the full transcript of this video with links to the studies. There are studies on using Forskolin as a nootropic and using friscolin to reduce anxiety. One in particular I think is fascinating. Friscolin is a neuroprotecting and chemical warfare. I'm gonna cover that here briefly. Uh, if you've ever find yourself in a war zone, hopefully you don't, but if you do, you might wanna have a bottle of friscolin with you. Acetylcholinesterase is the primary cholinesterase in your body. This enzyme catalyzes the breakdown of acetylcholine. The acetylcholine is used in the synaptic cleft during neurotransmission. Now this is how it works. Try to follow along here. This is pretty cool. During neurotransmission, acetylcholine is released from the first neuron to the synaptic cleft of the second neuron, where it binds to acetylcholine receptors and does its job of passing on the neural signal. Once acetylcholine has done its job, Acetylcholinesterase, which is also located in that synaptic cleft, steps in and breaks down the acetylcholine, and it does that by liberating the choline. The liberated choline is taken up, taken up by another neuron, and acetylcholine is synthesized by combining the free choline with uh, acetyl-CoA through the action of acetyl, uh, or choline acetyltransferase. Chemical warfare agents like sarin gas, which you may have heard of in the news recently, and insecticides like malathion act to inhibit acetylcholinesterase, which means they shut down this recycling process needed for acetylcholine production in the brain. Now, researchers have demonstrated that forskolin is a very effective acetylcholinesterase promoter. Friscolin activates acetylcholinesterase and upregulates its expression. Using mouse models, the scientists showed that friscolin boosted 
acetylcholinesterase expression outside and inside the affected cells. They concluded that friscolin can sufficiently upreg upregulate cellular acetylcholinesterase production and protect cells against chemical warfare agents like sarin. Friscolin works to protect your brain from damage caused by insecticides too. So if you're using an insecticide in the house, on plants or in your garden, you may want to protect your brain by dosing with friscolin first. Now the recommended dosage for friscolin is 250 milligrams of coleus friscoli at 10% or 125 milligrams of coleus friscoli at 25%. Now for boosting C-AMP in a Siltep stack, we use four, four milligrams of friscolin extract per day, along with 900 milligrams of artichoke extract, and we use that for PDE4 suppression. That's three capsules. Now note that you will not get the full nootropic benefit of use, use, using friscolin if you dose it on its own. Friscolin has a tendency to boost C-AMP and PDE4 levels, and PDE4 suppresses C-AMP. So it kind of like cancels each other out. Artichoke extract helps control that PDE4, so it doesn't cancel out C-AMP. Now don't worry about measuring out an accurate four milligrams for your Siltap stack. I've been using 250 milligrams of Forskolin at 10% Forslein, which I'll tell you about in a second, with 900 milligrams of artichoke extract at 6% with great success. Now for counteracting Forskolin's effect on acetylcholinesterase, we use 800 milligrams of acetyl L-carnitine or L-car, which is 200 milligrams of L-car for every one milligram of forskolin per day. Now, many users of this stack reported helpful to supplement with 50, millig uh, 50 milligrams of phenylalanine, a B vitamin complex, and some caffeine, either coffee or preferably a tea. Friscolin induces CYP3A gene expression in your liver, which means, like grapefruit juice, friscolin needs to be used cautiously as it will amplify the effects of other nootropics in your stack and prescription meds. Now, acetylcholinesterase is upregulated by C-AMP, which makes you sleepy. This, this means that the available acetylcholine in your brain drops. Now you can counteract this with Alcar or acetyl L-carnitine, which calms the upregulation of acetylcholinesterase. Now the most common side effect with forskolin is diarrhea, because increased C-AMP affects the smooth muscle lining in your gut. And so things move through your intestines faster with forskolin. But the side effect usually happens at much higher concentrations than the recommended doses of forskolin. And forskolin reduces blood pressure. So if you're on high blood pressure meds or you naturally uh, have a low blood, blood pressure issue, you should avoid using forskolin. Forskolin is usually marketed as forskolin or coleus forskoli on the bottle. Forskolin typically contains 125 milligram capsules of coleus forskoli at 25% forskolin, or the 250 milligram capsules of coleus, coleus forskoli at 10% forskolin. So look for coleus forskoli or forskolin supplement with the percentage of forskolin extract clearly marked on the label. Now, Forslein, that I mentioned before, is made by Sabinza Corporation. It's branded in a patented form of coleus horscoli. And that's the one that's most often used in human trials. So I prefer finding a supplement that uses Forslein as their source of forscolin. And researchers in India reported that forscolin concentrations can change significantly depending on where coleus horscoli is grown. And that's another reason why I prefer a standardized, standardized version like Forslein. 
So my nootropics expert recommendation for four skull and extract is 125 milligrams to 250 milligrams a day. And that's my report on Forskolin. If you want to see links to the studies I talk about, talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for Forskolin. Or click on the link below this video. There you'll see a full transcript of this video and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions or you want to share your experience using Forskolin, go to my article on Nootropics Expert and leave it in the comments section at the bottom of the article. Now, if you want to see more videos on all the popular nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.